Hey, Claude Pond here from Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is going to be uh, video two in the category menus series, and this one's about menus. Now, menus um, are part of the process of organizing the information that you're presenting on your website. In other words, it's part of kind of site architecture, thinking through your, your website. So it's important to think about these, lay them out on, I do it now on paper before I do it in here, but let's take a look and see how this menu dashboard works. Well, first you get to the menu dashboard by coming to your appearance tab, coming down to menus. Now, if I click appearance, it's gonna show me my themes because that's what I've got selected. So I'll come down here and click menu and it brings me to my menu dashboard. Now, right now there's nothing in it. So let's take a look and see what this menu dashboard consists of. There's menus here on the left hand side. There's a blank sidebar. We're going to fill that shortly. On the right hand side is where you create menus. And then I want to point out a very important thing here that I overlooked for a long time because nobody ever explained it to me. Screen options. When you open that up, it's going to give you options here for uh, items that you're going to be using when you're creating menus. So by default, I think it, it, it shows pages. But what I do is I click all of them on. I want everything. And I want everything down here. So do that. Do yourself a favor, do that, and uh, you'll, you'll help yourself when you're designing your menus. And then we'll come back here later to see what these mean. So now you're gonna see grayed out here, custom links, posts, pages, categories, tags, etc. Now, when to create a menu, you come in here and we're going to create a main menu. Main menu. And we're going to create. All right, so now you'll see the the screen has come alive. So, under the main menu, you can select certain things. Custom links will come to later. It's got an application when you're putting in uh, a unique item into your menu and it has a URL. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that right now. But what I missed for a long time was posts. You can put posts into menus. Pages, everybody knows that because that's what really it defaults to. So if you have a page, and let's say what most people do is they will have, uh, let's take a look at categories. We don't want that. They will usually have the disclaimer, the about. Now here's another thing. There's a menu here that says most recent, view all search. Click the view all, which is what I should have done. Now it's gonna show me everything. And I, on, on a typical a category uh, main menu selection, I would have the home, the about us, the disclaimer, the disclosure, and the privacy. I might even have a site map. And so I, so I check those off, I come down here, I'd add to menu. All right, so now I've added to menu and I've created a menu with these items and it's called main menu. Now you'll notice if I come back up to screen options and I were to deselect posts, posts would disappear here from the sidebar or deselect custom links, it disappears. You want them to be there because there are gonna be instances, even though you're gonna be using pages and categories for the most part to create your, cat, your menus, there are gonna be times when you want posts in there because you want them to appear in the dropdown off the nav bar. But we'll get into that in another video. So you wanna make sure that you always come to screen options and select them all. And then uh, now the upper selections pertain to the sidebar the lower selections pertain to the interior here, the drop down for each menu item. So when I drop it down, there I get a URL, I get the na navigation label, the title attribute, uh, the CSS class, the link, the link relationship, and the description. You can optimize each one of these categories here, putting in information here, the description, the link relationship you use when you're, you're doing the rel author and setting up your, your uh, authorship classification for Google, that sort of thing. You can rename, I could rename this from home to the name of the website so that it would be keyword rich, a WP trainer, assuming that was a, uh, a keyword. So if I uh, do that and I click save, 
home now becomes WP Trainer, which would be a great SEO thing. So you might home, you know, does just doesn't mean anything. But if you have a a, a title that has a great uh, uh, keyword value and SEO value, you might want to rename it. That's how you can do it from within the menu um, dashboard. So and that's why you want to know about these options up here for uh, screen options. Now we've just created this menu and it's called a main menu. I can always come back and create another menu. If I click plus, it's going to ask me to create another menu. So this time I can say I want a category menu. And I can create it. Now it's going to give me a blank form here and I can start putting in categories. If I have categories here, I view them all. If, they're int if I'm interested in putting them in, I click them all. I add to menu. So now I've created a second menu, which is a category menu. Same thing. I can come in here and, and optimize these thanks to the selections that I gave in, in, uh, up here in my screen options and as you know I still have my posts, my custom links, pages, categories, tags, all here. All these can be added to a menu. And so that's how the back end. Now what do you do with these menus? That's uh, another video. You can put these menus into a widget sidebar. Let's leave this page just briefly. So here you can see a list of drop-down menus of categories. There's one. Uh, let me take a look. So I guess you, if, you, if I drag these, this over here to categories, it will create a category uh, display, which is what we saw in the other. And, uh, that's how you get your categories into the sidebar. Custom menu, now that's what I was looking for. That's what you can drag in here and then you give it the title, pick the menu that you want. We just created category and that's the one I wanted. Give it a title and that'll take that menu and put it into the sidebar. So I'll take the main menu, call it main menu. Save it. So I, now I have a custom menu and my categories in the sidebar of the website. And uh, so that's how um, you can use the menu dashboard. So we're going to go into greater detail in the next video, but I just wanted to give you an overview of what this, uh, how to set up menus and the different parts of, uh, of uh, what you have to do that and the real takeaway is to make sure that your screen options have been selected. And that's it. So I hope this video helps. This is Claude Polan at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.